People often ask me, can you help me hack into something? Well, the easiest way to hack anything is, of course, to have the password. So today, I'll walk you through 30 methods to get someone's password quickly, efficiently, and all within the next five minutes. One of the most effective ways to get a password is to simply acquire the device. This is sometimes known as the evil maid attack. Once you have physical access, your chances of success increase dramatically. If you're lucky, the device might not even have a password or the user could be already logged in, saving you the trouble. If you're dealing with a place that's already been breached, you might find the password you need on breach forums. People often reuse passwords, so if you can't find the exact one you want, perhaps another database holds the key, literally. Brute force is another classic approach. Tools like Burp Suite or Hydra can try every possible combination until they hit the jackpot. If you can get a hold of a password hash, say by grabbing it from C slash hash windows system 32 slash config Sam, you can use tools like John the Ripper or Hashcat to crack it. Sometimes it's easier to go after a higher level account. For example, gaining root access on a Linux machine allows you to reset any user's password or view private keys. Similarly, if you have AD admin access or help desk credentials, you can reset any user's password within the AD database. Or if you manage to access a website's admin panel, resetting passwords becomes child's play. And who knows, if you're already inside the database, the password might be sitting there in plain text waiting for you. Now, you might be wondering how to access a database in the first place. It's simple. Get network access, find a vulnerability, and exploit it. Tools like Shodan can reveal open MongoDB databases just sitting out there on the internet for anyone to explore. SQL injection is another classic technique. Poorly secured websites allow too much user input, leading to entire databases being dumped. Another approach is to search through any available code on the site or app. Hard-coded credentials are more common than you'd think. Open AWS instances, GitHub repos with carelessly stored usernames and passwords, and even app inspections using tools like strings can yield results. Sometimes, the treasure is as close as a right-clicking to view the page source. If you're after more than just passwords, consider API keys. With these, you might be able to extract user data directly from the site. Exploiting insecure APIs can sometimes give you access to more information than you were supposed to see. Just ask the companies that have experienced major breaches this way. And if all else fails, you could always steal the database server itself. Once you have it, extracting data is a matter of time and patience. Maybe just pulling out the hard drive and reading it on your own machine. Back to passwords. If you're on the same Windows computer as your target, Mimikatz can extract passwords from memory. On the same local subnet, Run Responder, a tool that masquerades as a shared drive. For Wi-Fi passwords, tools like Aircrack can capture traffic and reveal passwords for networks within range. Alternatively, the Wi-Fi Pineapple can trick devices into giving up their credentials by pretending to be a familiar network. And then there are the people on the inside. Maybe you know someone at Facebook who can reset passwords for a fee, or a Taco Bell employee offering to reset accounts for $30. Nation-state actors even recruit insiders in what's known as seeding operations, placing them in key positions within companies to access sensitive data. Speaking of nation-states, they've been known to go to great lengths from installing surveillance systems on targets to using long-range photography to capture passwords. The NSA's Ant catalog lists tools that can listen to keystrokes or even use thermal cameras to detect which keys were pressed. Of course, tricking users is another time-tested method. Phishing, social engineering, and plain old scamming are all fair game. Installing a keylogger on your computer and then inviting the target to use it can be particularly effective. Or, if you're more of a hands-on person, shoulder surfing is a classic. Just watch them type their password. It's an art form, really. Setting up a fake website that looks like the real thing can also yield results. Just send your target a link, wait for them to log in, and voila, you've got their password. You could also go old school and search their desk, wallet, or files for a written down password. Dropbox, Google Drive, and network storage are popular places to stash them. And let's not forget USB keyloggers. These handy little devices can capture every keystroke once plugged in. Just remember to retrieve it later. If you want to see how hackers crack any video game, click on this video.